You ready? <laughs> yeah. How's it going, everybody? What up? It's Christmas time. It's uh, it's almost Christmas time. It's Next week, it's already. It's the twenty first. It's the last day before Christmas, I would assume. It's the last. The last recording. Epi- it's the last episode before Christmas. I'm very festive. I'm your host, Josh. I'm your host, Mike. Welcome to Talking Puffs, episode oh. one eighty nine. Ugh. Close. 88. Yippers. Woohoo. I <laughs> uh, got a lot of layers on, so I'm feeling a little toasty. Toasty. Right? <laughs> from Mortal Kombat. Shut up. Josh, it's from Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. <sighs> I we, hate you. We burned a lot of material in the Patreon. We did episode. burn a lot of material. <laughs> We're not getting a uh, panel. I can tell you that because yeah. still pretty heated about it. Emerald City Comic Con was like, no. Oh, so they're like, no. Nope. They were like, hey, I know it's your 200th episode, but I'm glad I didn't get the pins made preemptively. I was going to get enamel 200 pins. Made. That would have sucked. I'll probably still get the made. How much money is that? Big 200. Nice hat, Josh. Thank you, sir. I wore it uh, all, everywhere I visited today, too. They're dollar a piece. How, how? What's the minimum order? A hundred. <laughs> I know we don't. In, in the grand scheme of things, it's not a lot. That's not. We could charge five dollars a piece. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hi guys, Merry Christmas, Josh, Mary, whatever, Mike. She thinks you're Jewish. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. What? No, it does not. My nose is bigger than yours. I don't think so. I, t- I got a lot of face weight. <laughs> If my cheeks weren't so plump, you'd see. I don't think there's a stereotype of Jews being fat. I think there is. You got nice hair. I like bagels. Who doesn't like a nice bagel? Everybody loves bagels. Are you in New York What's style? What's your favorite kind of bagel? Bah. Be yeah. honest. Everything? Everything. Unless they can do an Asiago right. Because you go to Panera and they throw cheese on it. Microwave no, it. Yeah, You're good to go. That doesn't work. That doesn't it's work. It's got to be in the dough. Yes. Yes. Yeah, nice Asiago bagel is pretty good. My favorite bagel? Yeah. Salt bagel. Have you ever had one? I haven't had a salt bagel. Did y'all watch that Star Wars? No, Bo, shut up! I didn't watch it yet, please. 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 It's only been a day. It has not been two a days. day. It's been two days. Please. Please, everyone. I know all of you hate me, but please. Because you do spoilers constantly? I do not do spoilers constantly. I give it a week. I would ask a week. I would ask a week, please. And I I know you'll pay five dollars for one, Robin. We'll hook you up. For an enamel pin? Yeah. An enamel pin. Plus, pl- plus shipping. <laughs> Cause I got burnt on the shipping before. <laughs> when I shipped those pens out or it, it, they said salt bagel's the best. Tell me about this this It's a bagel with salt on it. It's literally what That's it, it is. It it's, it's like pre- a soft it's pretzel. pretzel salt. Oh. It's pretzel salt on a plain bagel. And they are... Vin, that's messed up, man. What? Vince said, spoil them, Bo. That's <laughs> well, messed up. Star Wars is stupid. Vin, Vin, come on, man. Don't do that. Sorry. I forgot we were recording for a hot second, so I picked up my phone. It hasn't stopped you in the past. Because I'm an idiot. If you like pain, I... Okay, Bo, thank you. You've ne- honestly he, never had a salt bagel. You made a funny joke. With vegetable cream cheese. I know, plain. What's vegetable cream cheese? It's cream cheese made out of vegetables. That's not possible. Cream cheese is made out of the uh, cream. Yeah, from, from they a, put vegetables in it. From cat. All right, they, they put vegetables they in it. They dump a V eight in. Ugh. <laughs> it's just cold tomato soup. That doesn't make it better for me. Get a grilled cheese and eat it with a V eight. Oh, I could add a V eight. Asiago bagels are my jam. See, bagels are good. I, no, I want a bagel. I want to go. I have everything bagels all the time. Uh, Every time I get a breakfast sandwich, I get it on an everything bagel. Yeah. Poppy seed bagels all day. Unless I sometimes. Okay. I like a bacon, egg and cheese bagel. Right. With uh, grape jelly on it. So Anthony is from Jersey and he has made it very clear to me that a PA bagel doesn't touch a Jersey bagel, which is funny to me because all I know is like PA bagels uh-huh. from the Greensboro Pennsylvania. area. Um. So it's pretty funny to me that there's a difference. Okay, so because he said he he referred it's the to water. Oh, the water that they use to make the bagels, uh, 
Really? Why is your hand so warm? I got I, I got good stuff going on here, man. I, I am a treat. <laughs> it's the <laughs> it's the water. New York bagel, not Thompson's. I thought Thompson bagels were pretty good. Right? You like a Thompson bagel. I do. So, <laughs> you know what I like to do for my birthday? Yeah, Rizzo's. All day. I'm not doing Rizzo's this year. Oh. Here's what I did. I like to spend my birthday alone at my house. Right. And I watch a movie. That's what I like to do. Right. What? Nothing. It was weird. It's not weird. It is weird. On your birthday, you should do what you like to do, and it's what I like to do. What about like, you don't want to? No. That's the best. No. It's my birthday. <laughs> I like to get a meal that I like. Hi, Dad. And I like to watch a movie or a TV show, but like a lot of it. So I'll pick like <laughs> something that has a couple like sequels and whatnot. Yeah, man. This year, I decided to do something a little different. Okay. I ordered pizza from Chicago. Okay. That's getting. You have a working oven. Yeah, I have a working oven. Okay. My oven works. I don't know okay. what to do. It's yeah. Donald. Uh, and I ordered black and white cookies from New York. Okay. They'll be here soon. Okay. I was looking at bagels today. Yeah. Happy belated birthday, Vid. Okay. Oh, uh, birthday, Vid. Happy. Josh. Happy. No, I'm not saying a happy birthday event. It's I, a happy birthday. No. I was cons- I was strongly considering ordering bagels from New York to have for breakfast that day. Okay. I haven't yet. Are you gonna? I might order some. How much are you spending on yourself on your birthday? Okay, a pizza? A from, pizza. From Chicago. From Chicago. Fifty bucks. Shipped. It was. That's not too bad. I got two two was seventy five. That's I, not that bad. I right? really don't think that's too bad. The black and whites. I hey. got <laughs> the black and white cookies I got um, were 25 plus 15 shipping. Robin said, my God, taste of a nation. <laughs> More like taste of the Northeast. <laughs> I almost ordered from my favorite pizza place in... in uh, Sbarro's? No, yeah, Sbarro's. <laughs> I almost ordered pizza from my favorite pizza place in uh, Utah. The Pie Pizzeria in Ogden, Utah. I remember you telling me. Uh, but I called them and they said they couldn't get it to me by my birthday. And uh, it would have been $250 for three pizzas. Oh, my God. So, so I passed. All right. So you're getting the black and white cookies. Uh-huh. How much were those? Uh, th- those were uh, 25 plus 15, 40 bucks. 40 bucks, 75. So you, what do you want to spend 30 bucks on a bagel? And then what are you going to do with the food? Well, I eat it. No, no. Yeah, that was my <laughs> fault. Stupid question. Um, What's what are you gonna do instead of watching a movie? I'm gonna watch a movie. You're gonna watch a series. You're gonna watch that new documentary about the serial killer. Don't who, f with cats. Yeah, I already watched it. Did you already watch it? I did. Why? It was rough. Yeah. Did you watch it? No, I read it. <sighs> it was rough. I don't they wa- don't show the cats dying. Are you sure? But they, they let you not. hear it. Oh, you hear it. Yeah. But they don't show the cats dying. I don't want to hear it. I'd rather see it and not I hear j- it. I joke about killing cats. No. He is just like a circular saw. No, he doesn't. Here's what he does. uh, Spoilers, I guess, for Don't F With Cats. Don't watch it. And if you're real sensitive to cats, any animal cruelty, and you don't want to hear it, maybe skip ahead five minutes. The best part about the documentary is- They get the guy. Yeah, is all the people banded together to do like this spy crap to find this guy. Right, and it was intense. Yeah, anyway. But it was rough to watch. I don't even know if I want to say what he did to the cats. I'll I'll tell you after. Yeah, don't say it. Don't say but uh, it was a great documentary. Yeah, I heard it was phenomenal. You know, it's pretty oh, rough three, to watch. Three hours. Pretty watched. Pretty hard to rock. Oh my god! You're me today. Oh, pretty hard to watch if yeah. you're into cats or animals. Any animals. But uh, it's pretty dope how they get the guy. Yeah. Um, which is weird to me that nah, I don't want to get into it. But yeah, it's a good documentary. It was very good. You should watch it. I know. I read it. It's all I need. It's so I really like that kind of thing. Not the animal <laughs> cruelty and the and the psychopath. And part, we're canceled. But I mean like I like I like true crime crime documentaries. Ad marker. <laughs> I, I like true crime documentaries. True true crime. True crime documentaries. 
The thing that I don't like is when the hair. I know. I was asking if you'd grown it long again. It's because it was you were wearing a hat. It's it smushes it down. Ew. Um. When they show pictures of people from like the 30s and black and white, yeah, it just creeps me out to oh, no end. It is creepy, huh? Yeah, they're it's just always like, weird. Yeah, like, I, I know. <laughs> like you're people. It's you're not aliens. You're a person, and they always have like a shadow. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> I don't like it, and like the photos weren't high res enough that you could see like actual eyes yeah or pu- yeah i know so it's just like all white and like pupils i'm like oh this is so creepy looking uh what's up russ what's up justin uh robin said hi justin that's my job robin welcome to the madness uh, welcome to the madness justin said i love pops just started collecting oh what you got maybe justin is new justin <gasps> shared he said shared what <laughs> Spoiler the cats are dead. Salt uh, bagel <laughs> delivery. No, can we get into pops? Do we not have a lot of news? I just want to show is you that what, what this salt is about? bagel is. I can get it, man. Uh, it's just an, unra- an assortment. It's an unraveled bagel. It's an unraveled pretzel put into a bagel shape. No, it's a raveled no. pretzel. No. <laughs> not raveled. Raveled bagel. It's a raveled bagel. Oh. Ravel bagel. <laughs> <sighs> It's a ravel bagel. $34 for 12 bagels. Is that too much? Two-day shipping? Oh, my God. That's so much money. It's my birthday. For stupid bagels. Look how good these look. Can we get into the news? I love bagels. Can we talk about pops? If I get some of these, you're not having any. I know you're going to let me have one. No. If I get salt bagels, maybe. When I went to... State College, they had a, they had like Penn State had their own bagel place, like just everywhere. They had bagels, donuts, and coffees. Okay. And uh, I used to get a salt bagel all the time. Okay. Cool. <laughs> just plain though. I didn't put anything on it. This is Justin's first show, and we're talking about bagels. Listen, they can <laughs> see we're fat, man. Can we talk about the pops? There's not, okay, there's not a lot going on. $15. Off. What's that? Gold Belly. Gold Belly is where I ordered all the stuff from. Oh, is that like a company that does delivery of food? Yeah, I tried to get the soda I like from uh, Australia, but nobody could get it to me. I was very upset. What about your your coworkers out there now? It it would take two months to Weeks. get here, right? Because they'd probably ship it by uh, by uh, Barge. kangaroo. Yeah. Kangaroo, Gavna. <laughs> pip, pip, and the Bobby. <laughs> All right, he ready to talk some pops. I want the Fiend pop, but they don't have, but I, but don't have the money. What's Fiend? Fiend is a fellow, right? Fiend is a, a wrestling man. It'd be worth it to go on a bus and go get bagels. No, Wait, listen, I'm on a mission for New York bagels. I'll go to Brooklyn and ship the some to you. There you go. Yeah, Robinson News. Talking bagels. <laughs> I'm waiting for Josh to yell at Mike. Just get on. Just go get Rizzo's. Yeah, Rizzo's is dope. I think. Yo! I think I'm gonna go get. Is that a Vin Lee Mickey? <laughs> oh, harsh Vin. Let me know if you want that cut. <laughs> We're gonna have to add that marker to that one. <laughs> no, fellas. He wanted to ruin Star Wars for me. That's Vin, a funny joke, Vin. <laughs> I like Vin more than I like you. He knows that. <laughs> It's a rough episode, guys. That was, yeah, I'm sorry, man. I can cut it. Do you think I could get salt bagels here? I've never seen them. Shut up. Please. WWE is fiend. Yeah, I know. That's what I said. I think it was a wrestling figure. Gotcha. This is... uh, Be careful what you call it. (laughs) It is... I forget exactly what it is. (laughs) And I don't want to be a Josh. So give me one second. Happy holidays. I think think it's the Chinese New Year. It's probably what it is, right? Chinese Chinese New Year Mickey. Mickey. Yeah, Chinese New Year Mickey. CNY Zodiac. Chinese New Year is what that stands for. Right, the Zodiac. Too. Only available in Hong Kong, Philippines, Singapore, Taiwan, and th- Thailand. 
from December 26, 2019. That's, that's pretty cool. After Christmas. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's about for my birthday. For your birthday. They say I look like The Undertaker. You're the mouse. What? Vince said Susie has an aunt in Hong Kong. So take that. Has an aunt? Yeah. I could only assume. Can right? I try to get that? <laughs> Mickey. I'm a bad influence. Dude, I love Christmas. I'm so excited. I was at the mall and I heard the Mariah Carey song twice. Yeah, it's a little rough. And then I sat in my car and played Ball and Bricks for five minutes <laughs> before I drove away. Is it the year of the mouse? Is that really what this is? Probably. Or is that just a funny pun by Probably Dan? Probably just a pun by Dan. Dan doesn't know stuff. Which Dan? I don't know. I'm not saying last names. Do it. No. That's weird. Hey, you like Naruto? Naruto! Uh-oh. Oh, weird air message again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's running, doing the, doing the Area 51 run. The Naruto run. I call it the Area 51. But the Area 51 people got it from Naruto. Mm, I don't know if that's true. Naruto. He's, he's, he's running like Moira for Overwatch. That's how she runs, too. But it, it, she, it shows her running like that. But when you play her, you see her hands in front. Oh, that's weird. I know, right? Moira. Moira. And then we got... Gara. Gara. Mm. <laughs> and then this is Arucha Maru. Octomaru. You, just, you can't just read it. You got to say it out loud. I don't know if I can. What is it? Let me see. I think I know what that means. All right. Anyway. Who's uh, that? Snake uh, dude. Medusa. Uh, Octomaru. Octomaru. Marawi or something like that. I don't know. This is. 2020 year of the rat, apparently. Funko said mouse to be a little more friendly, I guess. Uh, this is Tesmond. Tis. Yo, what up, Ross Lee? Nude. Ross from San Diego's in the house. Noedu. Tusnadu. Yo, she's dope. Just wait. What's her name? This is sexy just to just spell it J U T S U J U T S U. Cool. Just make a try. Jetsu. Just for research. Purposes. Sexy Jetsu. Sexiest pop figure people are saying. You think? I don't know. Maybe. And then we got a movie moment. Naruto versus Sioku. It's a movie moment. So that movie moment is going to GameStop, and then that uh, sexy Jeruso is going to Box Lunch. Oh yeah, found some good stuff. <laughs> Do you like rap music from Yo, the nineties? Tupac, Tupac in the house. This is Tupac in a vest. Right. People think he's still alive. Yeah, he is. How? I've seen the holograms. Is that him? Do you remember, I, I, I've been watching, hey, what's up, Larry? I've been watching 30 Rock again. Oh, really? And whenever, Ridiculous, do you remember that episode with the crappy champagne? Yeah. So uh, whenever he gets real mad, he's like, you wait till I tell Tupac about this. <laughs> and everyone like, stop, he's like, and Jack's like, I didn't hear anything. <laughs> That's my favorite. <laughs> Tupac, he's still alive. A woo. I'm finishing up the office, and I'm going to switch to uh, How I Met Your Mother. He's in Cuba. Cuba. He's in Cuba. I can hear you putting all those Tic Tacs in your mouth. I'm sorry. That wouldn't make sense. Him being in Cuba. Cuba. I can hear that, too. Finish him real quick. Keep going. You're the worst. You can't just not have candy while we do a podcast. Here's another Tupac. What's he wearing? Thug Life overalls and a purple shirt and a hat. This one's going to FYE. What's he doing, this? Yeah. West Side, correct? Yeah. <laughs> Did I say it in the right cadence, but in a white voice? Pretty close. <laughs> yeah. That's why I love <laughs> That's <laughs> too Tupac. Uh, I believe they call that West Side. Uh, let's look at some Ultraman pops. 
these are first to market Barnes and Noble, and then starting next year, they're going to be everywhere. Is it Ultraman? And this is Ultra. This is Jack. And then this is Ace. They already made Biggie Smalls pops. Yeah, a bunch of them. Yeah, who's like that? Four. This is four or five. This is uh, Kanagon, Kanagoon, and then we got Alien Bolton. That's all of them. Those are weird. <laughs> then here's all the four items of the Funko Shop. So Funko Shop was lit this week, it right? It was. It was. So we got the 10 inch super size big boy pop. That was uh, Friday. That's to go along with all your other 10 inch ad icons. Yippers. Then, of course, we had Star Kiss Tuna Man. Ask any mermaid you happen to see. What's the best tuna? Under the sea. Chicken of the sea. Oh. They call starfish tuna the chicken of the sea. I didn't know that. Jessica Simpson's very confused about it, too. What? You don't remember that? No. She was, like, eating tuna. She's like, this is chicken? I don't remember that. Because their whole ad slogan is it's tuna's the chicken of the sea. So she kept, it's, this is chicken? And, like, no, it's tuna. It was a whole thing. Oh, I don't remember that. And then we had this big boy. Oh, my God. The 18-inch, supersized Batman 1966 pot? Yeah. Uh, did you get one of those? I came... Very close. They sold out in like 30 seconds. 25 seconds they were sold out. Wow. I was typing in my credit card information when I hit place order. Uh, it sold out. Do you all do pop gives? Do we do pop gives? We we do pop giveaways? Stations. Yeah, we yeah, do we, pop giveaways. We haven't in a while. No. Charlie well, we Tuna. one recently. Ked. Fuego Sarkis is the mascot of the single dudes. <laughs> Because single dudes eat tuna out of a can. I don't. Tuna is very gross. All seafood is tuna's, bad. No, tuna is really good. It's really good for you. Too. I know, but to, at what cost, though? Uh, I think it's six nine cents a can. Yeah. No, I mean like so a two pack bundle that is Wally Coyote and uh, Roadrunner. Yeah. Maybe. I can't do. It. <laughs> that was pretty good. It made. I hate all the noises that are coming out of you today. That made a good noise. Wait. Yeah. David Duke. <laughs> David Duke. Blah. What I'm music's just, that for? Ju- I'm just hitting buttons. You know him from the podcast. <laughs> Surprise entrance. I just like hitting. I like. I have a music service that we can use all the music that they have forever. So I like using it when I can. What do you mean that actually, Sarah? I always make people laugh. Mm. <laughs> Let's look at them leaks, baby. Let's talk about leaks, baby. Let's talk about... Ooh, who's that? Adore Danello. I don't know who that is. It's Drag Queen. Oh, it looked like Amy Winehouse. <laughs> I, bet you, I bet you he would take it. Yeah, probably. Uh, that going to Hot Topic? That's a dude? Yeah. What? So... I, we didn't go through these, did we? I don't think so. Okay. So there's so many. Um, we're, we're just going to hit the ones that we know. Uh, there's some Monster Hunter Pops. Oh, that's cool. Uh, some more Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh. Archie Comics. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Keanu Reeves. Piano Keys. Um, you better believe it. Some new Pop Marvel Avengers 1 through 8. Uh one of them has a glow chase. Uh-oh. Uh, American Psycho Pat- Tra- Patrick with chase and axe. <laughs> right? American Psycho? Yeah. Dude. I've never seen it. What? Are you kidding me? Why would I see it it's scary, right? It's not scary. No. It sounds like it would be scary. Dude. It's got Psycho in the name. Oh, my God. What I- happens in it? Broad strokes. Let me know what happens. Uh, it's it's Christian Bale. I'm out. <laughs> what? And he like kills women. Oh, I'm back in. Yeah, and he's like a psycho. Like, uh... oh, you know what? They showed clips of it in that. Don't f with cats. <laughs> did they? Really? Yeah, I think they did. I, I'm pretty sure they that, did. The whole that, that act scene is when he's like, "Do you like Huey Lewis in the news?" And he plays it, and then he murders the guy. Well, like, what song? Hip to be square. Oh, uh, yeah. It's hip to be. Dead. Are you serious? I've never seen that. You movie. haven't seen that clip? No. Dude. 
That's I know. I normally I screw with you with that kind of thing. That's but I my movie. Seen oh it. my god, I love that movie. Uh, how about Animal House? That's cool. Bluto and Toga. Bluto in college sweater. Um. Then there's Minion: The Rise of Gru. Or, the Rise of Gru. And then there's uh, four keychains and uh, seven pops, and one of them is a 10 inch. Uh, then there's some new uh, pop, the SpongeBob movie, one oh, through three. That's pretty cool. Uh, pop TV Cobra Kai, Johnny Lawrence and Daniel LaRusso. Yeah. Get that out of your mouth. Don't tell me what to do, Dad. Don't put my Sharpies in your mouth. Hey, shut up. Stop it. Stop my slipper. He's going to bite it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Shit's Creek. I'm excited about these. Johnny Moira, David with Chase and Alexis. Will and Grace. Grace Adler, Karen Walker, Jack McFarland, and Will Torment. Truman. Truman. Sorry. <sighs> I knew that. And then a 10 inch Mandalorian with Chrome. Ooh, cool. We got these ones. Uh, Is that more? Yeah. Oh, my uh, God. Bat, the Batmans we've seen, uh, Hobbs and Shaw, Hobbs, Shaw, and Hattie. That's pretty good dope. Uh, some more Harry Potters. I think we've read the Harry Potters. Um, a bunch of new pop rocks. James Brown, Shania Twain, and Weezer. Uh, River Kus- Kusumo. Uh, and then pop icon Ninja. Oh, wow. That sucks. Mm-hmm. Uh <laughs> Fantasy Island, Mr. Rourke into two. That's uh, from Cartoon Network, right? Fantasy Island? Yeah. No, it was a show in like the seventies where people would go. Oh, that's Drama Island. Island, I'm thinking. That's different. Total Drama Island. Total Drama Island. Um, <laughs> We're nerds. <laughs> <laughs> Smokey and the Bandit, Trans Am and Bo Darwin. Uh Pop movies, Rami and Michelle's High School Reunion, Romy and Michelle. That's cool. Get the Kudro, uh, Magnum P.I., Thomas Magnum, and Murder, She Wrote, Jessica with Trench Coat. A lot of old school ones. Yeah. I'm psyched for American Psycho. Yeah. We've kind of really seen these, but we didn't see the names with them of all of the uh, so these birds of prey. Birds of prey. When's that movie come out? I don't know. It's pretty soon, you think? Uh, yeah, I think it's next year, sometime early. I was kind of excited about that one. Yeah, it looks awesome, and uh, Black Mask is played by Ewan McGregor. February seventh. That's sweet. That's the week before Sonic comes out. Ewan McGregor doesn't do bad stuff. Star Wars. That's all. I'm gonna say. Are you kidding me? <laughs> People are psyched because apparently he's going to be Obi-Wan Kenobi again in a series for Disney+. Plus. Oh, that's awesome. That's sweet. Uh, there's a Mandalorian and IG-11 two-pack going to Barnes & Noble. That's cool. Okay, so don't freak out. I see what it says. Pokemon. Uh, Grumpy Pikachu. Growlithe. Eevee. Kubone. Q-Bone, you jerk. I said Q-Bone. Pokey 1, 2, 3, and 4. And Rotata. How psyched are you right now? It's Ratatata. Yeah, Rotata. Dude. Are you psyched right now? No, it, this should, it should be a Pidgey instead of Ratatat. Maybe that's what 1 <laughs> through 4 is. Getting them all. Yeah, that's in the name, right? Yeah. Lifeline. Tie-dye. That's a Walmart exclusive Walmart. Apex Legends. FYE exclusive Electra. Yeah, I didn't see her announced. Yeah. Okay, so there's going to be a free comic book day Marvel mystery box. I'm going to read it verbatim from the web, from the comic free comic book day website. Are you ready? Do it. Funko leads the way for pre- free comic book day 2020 exclusive collectibles with our first ever previews exclusive mystery box. The mystery box features a brand new Marvel comic pop PX bobblehead figure, an exclusive PX Marvel f- variant comic book titled TBA, and a fun- PX exclusive Funko pop character T. 
Pop figure comes in a standard Funko window box packaging for easy display, while the Marvel comic book features cover art in the Funko style, depicting the mystery box's pop character in three randomly distributed designs. Augie! Main variant cover, 65%. No logo variant, 25%. And gold logo cover, 10%. That adds up. There are, <laughs> there are three Marvel boxes to choose from, A, B, and C, each with its own exclusive t-shirt design for a featured pop character. The featured character in the box is a mystery for now, but Funko and Free Comic Book Day will be announcing the featured character in mid-March. Cool. I'm so, not a fan. So it's free? No, you got to pay for it. <laughs> what stores are going to have it? Like comic book stores. Oh. Okay. That could be like Walmart, you know? They don't have Walmart. They sell comic books. Here's a Diamond Series Mushu. Get off your phone. I was I was answering messages because this wasn't keeping up. That's all of them. There was this other thing. I don't know if it's real or not, so I didn't want to bring it up. But a Crazy Monkey Jim looks like is getting pop figures. I don't even know what that is. It's a Jim in Everett. So people are saying that they're getting made... Um, you is know, that, is that Sully's gym? It might be. No, they he works out in at Funko and ever. That's right. But I don't know if they're real or not. So I don't want to. I don't want to bring them too much. You okay. Know, I mean, you, you, you catch my drift. I catch your drift, man. I get it. Right. So what you get this week? I got some pretty dope stuff. You got me a bunch of stuff, buddy. Let's go over what I got you first. Got to hold it up to the. Bam. We got Dwight wearing the uh, the doll mask. FYE CPR exclusive. mask. Hello, Clarice. I also Did got you have one to those. cut the face off the doll? <laughs> I wanted to see if it was real or not. Cost is $5,000. $2,500. 20, it was 2500 Yeah. He's like, a doll cost is $5,200? It was something dumb like that? $5,200 is what he said. All right. Then we got the Walmart exclusive uh, Death Crystal Morty. Floating. Floating. And Piccolo is like, oh, special B, get it. I'm metallic and have an arm missing. He's got an arm missing. FYE exclusive. I got the uh, purple icy bear that smells like purple. Right. It smells like purple. Yeah. He kind of does. And then this was so. So set the scene. Tell okay. the story. There's a website called Woot.com. Woot! They sell uh, very limited quantities of okay items. <laughs> uh, sometimes when they have a very large backlog, they do these things called Woot-offs, where they will sell a thing after a thing after a thing until they're sold out. So if, a th if an item's up, if it's still up after half an hour, it goes down and a new thing goes up. Or... If that thing sells out, then it automatically moves oh to the next god, thing. Oh my god, I'm so bored. You specifically asked me to explain it and set it up. So, one of the items in the Woot Off was a <laughs> Toucan Sam Funko Pop for $30. Uh, there were only like three, three or four. I, of course, jumped on the chance to get one. I normally don't get stuff in Woot Offs, the good stuff, because they sell out too quick. Right. So, I was like, okay, you know, 30 bucks is a pop figure. I'll get it. Bing, bang, boom. You know what I mean? Well, it shows up. Well, so and, and let's let's set the scene a little bit more. The original Toucan Sam is worth about buck fifty right now. Yeah, about one twenty something yeah. like that. So thirty dollars is a pretty good get. Right. Um, after it's all said and done, you probably make like a hundred dollars either if you wanted to sell it to somebody, add it to your collection, or do trades. some trades. Yeah, yeah. But this is the bad boy that showed up in the mailbox. What's up, Joe? So uh, for those that don't know. That is the new limited edition uh, one thousand piece metallic two, two can, can Sam. Sam thousand pieces for thirty bucks thirty bones, which uh, Mike got for a good steal. What's up, Ronnie? Yeah, I think I did. I right. sorry, I didn't mean to sniff. So you nailed it. You I killed it. it. You had a good week. I had a good week. <laughs> <laughs> I had a good week. Was that loud? Yeah, it was very loud. I had a good week. I got a lot of good stuff. Last week that we didn't talk about, you're going to have to watch our new YouTube video to see all the stuff we got in the mystery boxes. 
Uh, it's pretty good. Yeah, it was it was good. Did you watch the video? No. The video? No, I didn't watch. Yeah. Every time you sneezed and yelled peak, I had to cut that out and I put another noise in. Okay. <laughs> so one time was a slide whistle. And the other time was a puppy barking. I like it. Because you can't go an hour without blowing your nose. Ha, 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 ha. It's a pretty good week. You, you excited for Christmas? What? Yeah, of course. I love Christmas. Got a bunch of gifts for everybody, like I always do. Got the... Did you get a micro SD card? Got the... Gir- no. Why? Because you were begging me for one. I... I was not begging. It was sitting there like trash sits in your house. By all my other SD cards? There was one sitting by itself. No, there I was were like, hey, four of them. There. And what happened? Hey, buddy, do you need this? Yeah, I need it. Well, yeah, I need things I buy. Peeling a banana. May I take your jacket? LOL. <laughs> Coworker also in the break room. Do you think other people can't hear you? That's pretty good, right? <laughs> Epic bug facts. A nut for a jar of tuna is the same spell backwards. <laughs> I don't care who you are. That's funny. Oh, man. That's so funny. Um, all blart, mall might. And, and it's all mine on a, on a segue. That almost, that almost got you. You're an idiot. That almost got you. All right, I'm going to read. It's a super long one, but it's really funny. Okay? You ready? And then no more. Sorry for the sniff. Ask her out on a date. She says yes. Ask her what time her dad can drive us to the movies. She just gives me a blank stare. Okay, well, you guys should pick me up at around 7. Give her fist bump and run home in excitement. Her and her dad pick me up around 7. No one says a word on the way there. He drops us off. As I'm getting out of the car, I stop and ask him for the money for the movie. He just stares at me. Politely inform him movies don't grow on trees. He gives me $30. I clear my throat and keep my hand out. <clears throat> he gives me another $10. I roll my eyes. Thanks, guy. Really sarcastically. Girl asked out. He's looking super embarrassed. Get to the ticket window. Did your dad give you any money for the movie? <laughs> she looks like she's about to cry. Well, you should call him because he only gave me enough for myself and some food. <laughs> Look at you smiling. We need to go on a second date. <laughs> End of me. <laughs> That's good. That was gold. Let's it. it. That was a good one. I don't like this new. You love it. And everyone else loves it. I don't love this new section that you Whoa. decided was a thing. Whew. That was funny. And I saw you smirking. Did you get an Eddie pot yet? I didn't get an Eddie pot. Did you try, did you try that thing I got? I did try it. The unwrapping YouTube video was good. Thank you, Sean. You boys ready for tomorrow? What's tomorrow? Who's Sean? I don't know what anything is right now. I don't know what's going on tomorrow. Sarah's so so jealous. Shut up, Sarah. Who's Sean? Sean Piper? Who's that? Oh, that's Piper. (laughs) Are you serious? We know a Piper? From Pop Collector's Alliance? Are you serious? Oh, tomorrow's church. (laughs) <laughs> got him i got both of you he's probably so upset and you were confused no i know when you're faking it yes you just use that as a way yes. to pretend like you yes. didn't you don't think i knew who piper was no i don't kill yourself we nailed it it was a good show it was no it's, a, it's show. A good pre 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 christmas eve it's a good chris eve 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 christmas eve nailed it I, 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 I ordered I ordered that pizza. Yeah. And it was free shipping to get it here on the twenty fourth. Uh-huh. But I would have had to pay thirty dollars to get it here on the thirtieth. What? I know, right? They're like, you need to enjoy it. Wait, I'm so confused. Me too. I was like, I'll just get it on the thirtieth. I just, I don't want it any earlier. And they're like, No, it's if you get it on the thirtieth, it's gonna be thirty dollars shipping. If Are you, you sure? Yes, a hundred percent. Because they had a calendar, and you could pick what and the prices were in the calendar squares. That's kind of cool. What the, the prices for shipping are in the calendar squares? That's yeah. pretty neat, huh? That's weird. Yes, yeah, so I'm like keep, fine. Get it to me. Yeah, Sean, are we good for our Piper? Uh, are we good for eight tomorrow? Did did we verify that? I thought we did. Did you, did you triple check your facts? I didn't. I didn't uh, uh, TC that. <laughs> 
Triple check. That's our show, guys. We'll see all plugs. Don't forget to check out Pop Collectors Alliance, who we will be doing a cross promotion with tomorrow to celebrate something that I don't remember. Hundred episode? No. Something? No. What are we doing? I wasn't going to tell anybody about it. Oh, okay, cool. Sorry. <laughs> uh, we're not doing any of that. Forget it. Check out Pops for Patients. They're awesome. You should donate. Check out Robin and uh, the Brick City Blockade. And uh, that's uh, it. The STS guys. Oh, the STS guys. Totally, st- totally Rad Movie Podcast. They're starting in 19 minutes. Totally Rad Movie Podcast? Yes, their secondary podcast. Oh, I didn't do. know that. Cool, cool. That, them too. Josh doesn't like podcasts. He doesn't listen to them. Oh, year-end podcast, Piper said. Were we not supposed to leak that? I wasn't going to say anything. It was just going to be something that popped up in people's feeds. Well, what's, what's pretty cool is we're not very popular, so there's only like four people watching us right now, so it's a win. It's the Saturday before Christmas, and all through the house, people Ooh. aren't watching Facebook Live. We'll see everyone next week. Probably. Have, yeah. have a great day. Have a good Christmas. If if that's what you're into. And if you're not, then you shouldn't be listening to us. Okay, bye. I'm going to have to cut that, I think. <laughs> and Marker. Okay, bye. This has been Talking Pops, hosted by Mike and Josh, with co-executive producers Daniel Reichart, John Hildebrand, Russ Eddins, and assistant to the co-executive producers Eddie Edwards. Thanks for listening. Bye.